What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at 25 brand new free iOS 13.5 jailbreak tweaks. It's been a little while since I've had something jailbreak related on the channel, so I do hope you enjoy. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna make another one of these until iOS 14 got jailbroken with Checkering. However, it seems like enough of you guys wanted a new tweaks video and I can't wait to show you guys what's new. As always, the tweaks talked about in today's video will be down below in the description as well as their repos. The timestamps will be down below in the description as well following the premiere. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. Pigment is a cool tweak that obviously colorizes your notification center and there's been a lot of these that I've covered already, but if you like these kind of tweaks, then you might wanna check that out. Instead of the X in the notification center to clear out your notifications, this tweak displays the number of notifications in the notification center. However, no functionality is lost. You can still tap on that button to clear out your notifications. When you're getting a notification, this tweak fills up your notification banner. It looks pretty cool and it's an interesting design. Once the notification fills up completely, the notification goes away. Power Module is a tweak that I actually already talked about before and I meant to actually include Respring Module this time, but these tweaks essentially do the same thing. Power Module is probably better because it gives you more options to actually do other than just to Respring, but it's definitely a good idea to have either one of these tweaks in your control center. Status Weather Light lets you cleanly look at whatever the temperature is in your status bar. This tweak allows you to have multiple different dock styles. So I can have no dock at all, or I can have the old non-iPhone 10 style dock. There's more options to configure. This tweak lets you break down how much storage each app is taking up on your device by name, size, last used, and install date. With this tweak, you can place your phone face down to lock your device. To unlock it, all you have to do is pick it up. CC Shazam adds a Name That Song Control Center toggle for Siri in your Control Center. Play a song and using the built-in Shazam Siri integration, Siri will tell you what song it is. While I have my Siri up and running, you're probably wondering why my background looks like this. Well, thanks to this tweak, I can actually fully customize the Siri background when in light mode and in dark mode. This is pretty cool, but I don't really use Siri that much. And if I was going to use Siri, I probably would just stick with something like small Siri. That way the Siri view doesn't take up the entire screen. This tweak lets you change the color of your switches to any color you want. I changed it to blue and this is what it looks like. This tweak is self-explanatory and straightforward, but it's pretty cool. If you press and hold both volume buttons at the same time, it locks your volume. So in the event you accidentally touch one of your volume buttons, it won't have any effect on the actual volume. Unless of course you unlock it by pressing both buttons again. This tweak lets you press and hold on the dots at the bottom of your device in order to go into edit mode to move your apps around. Instead of the time being locked at 940, screen recording time allows you to see how long you've actually been screen recording for. Using screen freeze with an activator gesture, you can freeze your device and make it so that you need to actually authenticate your device in order to actually do anything. I can keep swiping, but unless I authenticate, there's no getting out of this. Most jailbreak tweaks want to get rid of the home bar completely, but this tweak is actually pretty cool. This makes your home bar match up with any media currently playing and adds a nice touch to the home bar. Whenever I included a tweak like Springtimize in my video, a lot of people wanted to know how I got that TV lock sort of animation. TV lock 13 is a free tweak that allows you to do just that. This tweak is really cool and when I saw it release, I knew I had to talk about it. Depending on your battery percentage of your device, this tweak fills in the actual battery on your dock and makes it look pretty cool. It also changes colors from white to yellow depending on if you're in regular battery mode or if you're in low power mode. I think this adds a really nice touch to your device. Fast Delete Key does exactly what it sounds like. It lets you change the speed of how quickly you can delete text. Lock Widgets lets you have your widgets view on the lock screen. Looks pretty cool and looks like it blends in. It's also really convenient to see what your battery looks like for devices connected through Bluetooth without actually having to unlock your device. Reach Options allows you to invoke reachability and take a screenshot, open control center, lock the device, or respring straight from the menu that pops up. 
Unfortunately, this tweak doesn't actually invoke reachability. I personally think it would be nice to have some of these options embedded in reachability, but if you don't use reachability that often, this is a pretty convenient tweak. This tweak is super convenient because this tweak lets you snooze different notifications on your device and basically let them pop up intermittently at a time that you actually want them to pop up again. So if I wanna select an hour or 45 minutes or something like that for it to pop up, I can do that and then we can do it like that. Or if we want to, we can actually schedule it to pop up a completely different day so I could do that too. This has a decent amount of customizability and it's a pretty good tweak overall. This tweak puts a compass inside of the Safari icon and makes it just move around. Kind of hard to show this one on video, but it looks pretty cool. This tweak is really cool and basically just lets you custom theme your album artwork for whatever media you're playing. Changes take effect immediately and it looks really cool, I have to say. Not only does this show up inside of the application, but it also shows up in your now playing interface and that also is really cool. There's also a community pack as well that I didn't show in this video that adds even more to it. If you have an iPhone 10 style device, you might be wondering why that home bar is there all of the time taking up so much space. It just seems like there could be a better way. Saul takes care of this for you and automatically hides the home bar and fills in all of that extra space. I think this is an awesome tweak and I wasn't even aware that this tweak existed before. All right guys, that pretty much wraps today's video up. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn post notifications on so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Hopefully the iOS 14 jailbreak isn't too far out, the check range jailbreak. I don't know, we'll have to see. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.